Okay, so now what we're going to do is to create um, another subroutine, and this subroutine is going to put data into the table. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hard code the values into the subroutine for the moment, and then we're going to deal with transferring the um, values from the worksheet um, into um, variables within um, VBA later. But at the moment, I just want to uh, show you how the whole thing works. So what we do again is create another subroutine and then this one we're going to call, call this insert data okay and then we're going to have to pass it a handle to the server again exactly the same format as we have here <coughs> so we'll control c that and we'll control v that into here tab catch turn catch turn tab all right and then we're going to execute um, another um, sql uh, script so to do that as before we type in object um, connection dot execute space quote quote and then within the quotes we type in our command and our command is going to be again use demo database database and then we're going to insert into our demo table, so table demo uh, table. Okay, space open parentheses, uh, open and close brackets, and then in here we're going to type in the first column name, which is product name, name, not forgetting the space. Okay, comma followed by product ID, so brackets product space ID, closing brackets, comma, open brackets, oh, open brackets, and last but not least, product price, close brackets, um, <coughs> let me shut this off with a close parentheses, stick in a space, type in values, so here we pass in our values, uh, I'm going to spell it right, values, space open parentheses comma single comma that is um, and then we start typing in the values that we want to pass into it okay so I'll slide this along a little bit so we can see what's going on okay so following the single comma we're going to type in the first product name and we're going to call it product one closing single comma comma space single comma type in our ID one two three for example single comma comma space single comma and then we type in the price we'll call this one let's say three pounds forty five okay then our closing single comma then our closing parentheses and that should be it okay so we'll go back up to our main create database function up here I've gone and deleted my database in um, the server at the moment so I need to uh, recreate it so I'm going to take out that comment up here we're going to call our insert data okay control C control V and we're going to pass it our server handle okay <coughs> so as I step through this using F8 step 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 okay we'll create the database uh, database demo base already exists choose a different database name uh -huh, okay so okay let's end that let's comment that out I believe I deleted it, but uh, clearly I didn't, so let's uh, not worry about that. Step through it again. Okay, create our table. Okay, insert data. Database, demo database does not exist. Uh, I didn't think it did, so there is something uh, stray here. Okay, so let's end that and let's put the video on pause and go and fix it. Okay, now that's fixed. Let's go again. So step through our function, F8, 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 create the database, yes please, created, create the table within the database, created, and now let's insert our data. Okay, database, uh, I've obviously typed something wrong here, so let's end that uh, demio, there we go, see what our mistake was, now we've already created the table in the database, so we'll comment those out, and we'll step through this. F8, 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 go and insert our data, F8, and there she goes, okay. Close everything down, F8, F8, and the application, and then let's pop up our server manager, <coughs> our management studio, let's connect to it, click on our database, there's our database that we created, let's open her up, look at the tables, open them up, 
there's our table, let's right click it, edit top 200 rows and there is our data, simple. Okay, let's get rid of that. If we want to add another line of data we can just simply copy this line here. Okay, control C, okay we can paste that in as many times as we like. Okay, and then you just change all your bits and bobs in here. Okay, so we change product one to product two, product three, four, another, and another, and another. Okay, and then we give them unique IDs, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then we'll change our prices, just randomize this a bit. Oop, got a bit west there. Okay, five, seven, thirteen, five, twenty-three, fifty-five, forty-five, forty-five, okie dokie. So Okay, step through that again. F8, 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 bosh, 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 bosh. Okay, that's it. All that data should be inserted into our database. So we'll pop up the uh, Management Studio, log into it, go back to our database, and then let's have a look at our tables to see what's happened. Right click, edit top 200 rows, and there's all our data. Look, okay. Because we didn't delete the uh, first row and we stepped through it again, it will just keep adding the same row. So uh, you just need to make sure that um, either the date, the row doesn't exist before you insert it, or that you don't insert it again. Um, and uh, whenever you insert data in the future, it's uh, it's original. Okay, so there you go. Hope you found that useful. And uh, in our next tutorial, we are going to start moving the data in and out of the uh, database um, from the spreadsheet so basically we're going to be replacing these values here uh, with values in our cells okay so I look forward to seeing you in uh, our next video